Hi, welcome to TGN YouTube channel. I'm Jason. Today I'll be demonstrating the use of multi wing uh, load balancer from Peplink and I will go through with you on the various interfaces. So for my sample unit for the hardware, I will be using a UBR, okay, which I have done the unboxing in my channel where you can see it earlier. Right. So I'll be connecting a fiber connection directly to the wang port as a Wang, all right, and at the same time, I have two different SIM cards connected to two different modems here. Okay, these are two different LTE modems. Regardless of whether you have fiber connectivity or if you have your LTE connections, all right, it behaves exactly the same. All right, so my demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you after all three connections are up, all right, how you can prioritize them and at the same time how the active active wang works in peplink's uh, multi wang load balancing okay and how it works what i'm going to do is one of the demonstration is i'm going to be pinging somewhere so for example i may be pinging google or i may be pinging some website and at the same time i will also simultaneously disable or pull out one of the wang ports all right and you will see that there is no disconnection at all and it still carry on all right so it be that if you are doing video conferencing or if you're on a call or if you are watching something that's streaming live there won't be any disconnection okay so that's one of the advantage of having a peddling multi wang load balancer all right thank you Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the user interface. All right, for Peplink's uh, Max BR1's uh, Max series is basically 192.168.50.1. Okay, so this is a brand new unit, and what has going to happen is I'm just going to type in admin, admin. All right, and the first thing that it's going to do is it's going to ask you to change the default password, which is a new security measure actually started way back um, 8.0 firmware. Okay. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we've got to enter in the default password and then make sure to use a very strong password and to make sure that we remember it. Okay. And oh, okay. It has to be 10. Okay. So I need to change slightly for my default password okay click and save and apply all right so once that's done changes has been saved okay in case if you forget your password just press reset button and go over again all right now let's take a look at um uh, let's say for now okay so let's take a look at what has happened all right okay so the router is saving all the ins uh the new stuff inside okay so once we go in you can see that i've actually installed the wang fiber connection all right so the wang is up and then i have two ltes right so there's priorities within the router where you can set so you can just pull it up and down like what i'm doing here like so right so what's going to happen if whatever that you want active okay whatever that you want that has to be constantly connected push and place it at priority one okay so because you can see now at priority two, the two cellulars are on standby, okay? When you say standby, it's cold standby, not hot standby, okay? In order to be really hot and active, you have to push it up and pull it up to priority one, okay? Now, at the same time, you will see that I actually pinged Google, all right? So I have pinged 8.8.8, .8 and you can see it's always constantly on the lower side of the screen, okay? Uh, let me try and make it up and pull it up slightly longer okay and right now we are experiencing um latency of less than five okay i'll say less than five okay and regardless don't worry um nothing much going to change okay um at the same time as we are pulling up and down for the ltes you'll take time to reconnect to the base station and to be assigned a new ip from the telco that's very normal all right don't worry about it it just takes time Okay. Now, the next thing is what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate on the outbound policy. All right. So there is a default outbound policy that's provided within the router. Okay. Um, let's go and take a look at it. Okay. So what you're going to do is you've got to go to the network. Okay. And basically, we double check the WANG. Okay. Make sure that all the WANGs are okay. 
All right, so they will check on the WAN connection status. All right, this is where you can take a look at all the WAN connection status. Okay, now if you want to adjust any other policies, you got to go to advanced. Okay, under advanced, you can go to the outbound. Okay, outbound policy like so what I'm doing here. Okay, so under outbound policy, what you can do is you can choose what you want to do. All right, so on top there is a default. All right, the default, okay, is automatic or what you can do is you can customize it to use uh, weighted balance okay so for example over here you can choose uh, if you want the majority of your WAN connection to be on your WAN or your cellulars all right so that's one now over here of course you can also add new rules okay so the priority for the rules will be top down okay so whichever that's on top will override whatever that's not okay so in this case it's persistence Okay, so it's set as persistence. So in a sense that it will persistently uh, look out for the algorithm. Okay, so if you want to understand the various different algorithms, okay, you can just click on the question mark, and under the help, it will basically explain to you uh, all the various uh, algorithms that Pablin has. So in all in all, there is the weighted balance, there is persistence, there is enforced priority overflow, least use, lowest latency, and of course. Uh, fastest response time. Okay, there's eight algorithms. Petlink is very, very famous for these eight algorithms, and of course, it's patented speed fusion technology. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why you know industry wide, many people are using it. So in terms of persistent, basically, is traffic coming in from the same machine will be persistently routed through the same WAN connection. Okay, so if this is not what you want, what you can do is, of course, you can either change it or you can add a new rule where you can say, I want it to be weighted balance. Okay, so basically, you just choose any and then you can just say, I want to be all on 50 50. Okay, this will basically ensure that uh, all your basically all your connection will be on weighted load balance okay and let me see i put it above the persistent so this will be basically what's going to happen okay but that doesn't mean that uh connection will be lost it will still be based on the priority okay after you have done your changes or if you add anything new okay be sure to apply change okay you have to apply change in order to be, take in fact on the router itself all right take note of this it's very very important and as usual, you got to make sure that it's passed on to the router. Okay, once that's done, it will show you that changes applied successfully. Okay, now what we can do is uh, on another tab, what I've done is I've actually live stream um, NBC News. Okay, the date is one day behind because it's an American news channel. Okay, so basically it's going to be 12, 13 hours behind us. Okay, so right now we are on 23rd of March. Okay, so What's going to happen is, at the same time while I am watching the news and also I'm letting the ping run, okay, you can see that the news is fine, the streaming is fine, okay, and at the same time the ping is also working fine, okay. What I'm going to do is I am going to also simultaneously remove the wanks, okay. So right now I have actually connected two cellulars as priority one and also the wang as also the priority okay i'm going to remove okay i'm going to remove uh, first and foremost uh, one of the sim cards okay so over here you can see that i've actually removed one of the sim cards all right and of course the router will take reaction and realize that oh okay i have lost connectivity to one of the sim cards okay but you will notice that the ping is still moving fine, okay, and the videos are still streaming fine, okay. There wasn't any loss or any packet loss in terms of my ping to Google, okay. So now I have one SIM card here. Next, I'm going to remove another SIM card, okay. So now I have two SIM cards that are on my hands, okay. And you can see that the ping, there's no effect at all. All right, nothing happened, okay? Um, everything's still moving, okay? Because we still have another WAN connection connected, okay? And uh, YouTube streaming is still as fine and as per normal, 
right we can even stream right now we are doing 1080 okay right now we are doing 1080p which is high HD okay and of course what's going to happen is the router is going to say that oh there's no connection for your LTE right because both the SIM cards are on my hand okay so this is a very quick demonstration of irregardless of whether if I've already removed both my SIMs and even my priority for outbound policy is on weighted load balance okay because it's supposed to be on all 50 50 50 okay so now before I remove my LAN cable my Wang LAN cable I got to make sure there's other connections because I removed two out of three okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug back the SIM cards onto the router and make sure that uh, the router has no issues all right Okay. okay, I'm going to let the router recognize the SIM, okay, and see if the connection gets back. Okay, so we got to get wait for the base station to get that connection. Okay, this is on the worst case scenario where you have both telcos down or two SIM cards down. Okay, so what's going to happen is I got to get wait for it to come back. All right, and once it's back, all right, um, then I will try by removing the the wang. All right, and then I'll reduce it down to only one cellular, and I will show you that at the same time the ping doesn't drop at all. All right, so right now we are still going at mi below five milliseconds in terms of the ping, uh, in terms of the streaming of the video. Okay, everything is still working fine there are no pixelization at all okay now I'm waiting for the telco base station to give an IP and I will make sure that um, everything is working okay before I'm going to disconnect the wang okay this is a worst case scenario if you have three wangs okay now next thing is what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of the wangs uh, I'm just going to leave all the, tel the LTEs alone first okay before I switch off the WAN connection okay okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the WAN connection because I know both my LTEs are back okay and at the same time I'm just going to see see the ping okay let's check the ping make sure everything is okay okay Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the fiber connection from the router. Okay, so immediately, instantly the router detected that the cable has been pulled and you can see that there was a slight upsurge in terms of the ping because right now we are dependent on the LTE okay, for our connection and there isn't any jumps in terms of the YouTube it's still streaming very very nicely okay and of course there was a search in the ping but there was no packet drops at all okay as you can see here all right we still have our duals now if we were to shift okay for example uh, even if we were to shift one of the LTEs to priority two okay you will see that there's still a jump in ping but connection there's no drop in terms of connectivity okay so don't worry about it okay meanwhile if you have any questions please feel free to write in the comments we will definitely be able to reply you okay so don't worry okay so you have priority two so this will be on standby right so now to demonstrate okay now for example if we were to entirely move okay the cellular one from priority one to priority three okay what's going to happen all right the ping is going to jump okay so over here you can see that uh, we are going to have a big jump okay okay so if we were to shift it down okay to priority three okay we got to wait okay because it's on cold standby we have to wait for priority two to be connected okay in order for the connection to be there all right so you can see here there was a jump okay and then uh, after that it just goes back uh, it's on telco standard uh, google ping okay so it just goes to double digits for tel for lte all right because you are not on fiber 
Now, let's say if I'm going to connect the fiber connection back. Okay, so let's get my cable back for my fiber connection. Okay, I'm going to plug it into the router. Okay. And instantly you will see the router will connect back. Okay, sorry, I disconnected the power because I was pulling it. Okay, so right now it's coming back. Okay, um, all right. So basically what happens is uh, I actually the move the move the, the, the LTE SIM cards. Alright, so right now once it goes back to single digit you can see here it's below five milliseconds. Alright. So it basically it continues. Alright the ping the, the ping continues. Alright the stream continues. Okay. Okay. So right now it's very dependent on the fiber wang. Okay. Okay now if we were to pull it back to priority one okay all of it will go active again. Okay. And then but don't worry uh, it will still follow our algorithm which we have preset at weighted balance okay so it's still moving even though we have shift the uh, LTE up but because our main wang is still there okay connection didn't drop okay connection did not drop at all all right so basically this is a very quick demonstration of how the wang load balancing works in a very basic demonstration on how the wang load balancing work you will see that with all the multi wangs that you have if you can play around with it okay you don't really suffer any drops at all not even a pink drop okay of course if you were to power off the router then that's a different story you're just gonna lose everything okay you gotta make sure that there's power constantly on the router okay so what you're worried about is the telco losing its connection to the rest of the world okay other than that or else the router will behave as what you said in terms of the outbound policy and of course the priority for the WAN connection okay so if you have any questions uh, please feel free to leave us a comment all right uh, at the same time if you do like our video remember to click like and also subscribe to our channel thank you very much